Manny Pacquiao is in New York and was immediately mobbed by Filipino fans. You know what that means? It's Pac-Man time! Palcast Sports. My name is Pal Salute for PalcastSports.com. Let's talk about Manny Pacquiao and Keith Thurman. So Manny Pacquiao is in the United States right now, specifically in New York. And we got, we acquired the video right here. And we're looking at him being mobbed by mostly Filipino fans, obviously. Why is he in New York? If you don't know, he's going to be fighting Keith Thurman. And this week is the start of the media press tour, starting with New York. And they will go to Los Angeles in Beverly Hills in a couple of days. I believe that's Wednesday. And he will be there until the end of the week. Are you excited? Well, you should be. It's been, uh, it's been a great year for Pacquiao after, of course, knocking out, knocking out Lucas Matisse. In Malaysia, this is me in Malaysia covering the event. I wish I could cover in Las Vegas if, if that's where the fight is. But apparently, it's not yet set in stone. So the fight venue is still under negotiation from what I've heard. Nonetheless, regardless of where the venue is, I'm excited to see this fight. And this is a tough fight for Manny Pacquiao. Of course, Keith Thurman is the uh, WBA welterweight, the, the true champion, as what they said. And they hold the same belt, so basically they're going to unify that belt into one belt. Now, now both of these fighters uh, actually had some pretty good uh, last, uh, last uh, fight. Of course, uh, Keith Thurman won against uh, Josecito Lopez. You know, I, I, I think that performance earned him a fight with Manny Pacquiao. It wasn't that pretty, but, uh, you know, that made the fight easier because it's, it's a winnable fight for Pacquiao. Pacquiao, as we all know, 40 years old, but still in tip-top shape and ready to rumble. He knocked out uh, Matisse once again, and Adrian Broner, he dominated that fight, no question. And, you know, he beat that boy. He beat that boy. <laughs> and uh, for Keith Thurman, anyway, this is an undefeated fighter. 10 years younger. I believe he got 29 wins and 22 knocked out. So, you know, a win for Manny Pacquiao here could mean really big. There are other champion, young champions in his division that could be lining up for a big money fight. You know, talking about money fight, uh... You know, everyone was still hoping for a Floyd Mayweather fight. I don't think that's ever going to happen. Well, we can all hope so. I don't think that's going to happen. Just like Juan Mar Manuel Marquez, it's never going to happen. He, that that uh, boxer will never agree to fight Manny Pacquiao again. Enough is enough. So there are a lot of young guys that could potentially be the next opponent if he ever wins this. If he wins this. So anyway, we're here to talk about that, that fight and uh, the media press con. And the regular champ is Pacquiao. The super champ is uh, Thurman. So when it's unified, it's the regular super champ. <laughs> we will leave the prediction in another video. But uh, let me ask the fans out there, Filipino fans or boxing fans, are you excited to see this fight? Is this a good fight? Will you be watching it? Will you be buying the pay-per-view? Or would you be watching it on YouTube on a, an illegal website? Come on, guys. We should all support boxing. Anyway, my name is Pau Salute for Powercast Sport. Let me know if you're excited to see this fight. Again, press conference. Uh, Manila time. It's going to be a Tuesday morning. We'll probably see some photos, or some more photos and videos. And by Wednesday, they're going to be in California and Los Angeles and Beverly Hills. And then Friday is coming back because he has a Senate job. Powercast Sports, once again, Pow Salute. Like, share, comment. Let's talk about this. 
Prowcast boards. 